Welcome back. Love your heart, love your food. With American Heart Month only a few days away, now is the perfect time to incorporate some heart healthy foods into your diet. That's right. We got Lori right here. She's assistant professor at nutrition and dietetics. Tell us a little bit about what we can do because I'm seeing some really good stuff on this table right now. Well, you know, heart disease is the number one killer of men and women. It affects about a third of the country. And much of the risk factors for heart disease are controllable with good diet and activity. So I have a few suggestions. Yeah, okay. let's go through some of them. So the foundation of a heart healthy diet is really fruits and vegetables. And all those colors translate into antioxidants. Mm, okay. And we know that the, the plaque buildup in heart disease, actually the precursor to that is inflammation. So these antioxidants take the inflammation down and keep your heart healthy. One study found that eating blueberries three times a week actually decreases your risk for heart disease by a third. Cuts it in half. Boom! Oh, nice. I'm good. Yeah. I put Pass blueberries. Blueberries, I put blueberries in my smoothie every day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So we get carrots, blueberries, apples. Does it does it matter the app type of apple? Is there no. specific apples more? Because I'm a honey crisp girl. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter. Yeah. They're All right. Good sources of of antioxidants. Broccoli and are these. Tangerines or these small little ones? Clementines? Clementines. Yeah. Clementines. Clementines. Yeah. Clementines. Yeah. Ah, right. Well, you guys Vit match, Curtis. Vitamin C. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Good stuff. What else we got? Uh, fabulous fats. Let's focus on what you can do, not what you avoid. So right. we're looking at the unsaturated fats, the like the olive oil, the canola oil, the fatty fish like mm -hmm. salmon. Okay. Um, of course, avocados, your favorite. Yep. Yes. And even the fat and walnuts. All of these will help lower cholesterol and and be good for your heart. The good fats. The good fats. All right. Yeah. Load up on legumes, beans, and nuts. Okay. Your lentils, your beans, uh, sesame seeds. Are those um, pumpkin seeds? Those are pumpkin, pumpkin seeds, seeds and almonds. Nice. Um, nice. These contain not only a lot of, of protein, mm -hmm. but a fiber that actually pulls the cholesterol out of your body. Wow. And again, one study found you eat beans four times a week, you'll decrease your heart risk by a fourth. Nice. Okay, beans, blueberries. Beans and blueberries. Yes. Okay. Fruits and vegetables. Yep. And so over here, I'm assuming this looks like the grain section almost. Yep. Yeah. Last up, um, go whole when you go grain. Okay. And so you're you're selecting the brown, the brown rice, the brown bread, even the tortillas. Go oh, with the, okay. the wheat tortillas. Um, of course, the, our our oatmeal uh -huh. is good and. And even it start explore some of those ancient grains like quinoa. Yeah. Very high in fiber. And one thing that I really like about the whole grains is that they have magnesium, which is a very powerful mineral that actually helps decrease your blood pressure and therefore help your heart. Well, there you go. Okay. Very cool. So, um, blueberries. Blueberries. Good fats. These are good. Beans and your grains and instant rice is always. Is okay brown as long rice. as it's okay. a brown rice, as long as it's clean rice. Clean we rice. learned that yes. earlier. <laughs> Here's something else for the plant-based eaters out there. I get asked all the time, where do you get your protein? A lot of people don't know rice has protein. Oh, look at and that. And then when you pair it with your beans, you get a complete protein. Yep. And it's really good for you. Well, there thanks you so much, Lori. Appreciate your time. Thank you. We'll post this information on our website just a little later, so be sure to visit firstcoastliving.net.